Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, before we get started in the broadcast, just want to remind you tonight, www.stephenbenoon.com. Definitely want to tune in. I have a very special broadcast going out tonight. Uh, we're going to be going deeper into Daniel's prophecy, and you're going to find out some things that have just not been spoken about before. Going to be looking at Daniel chapter 12, Daniel chapter 9, at Jesus' word, and Matthew 24. What was left out that we find out in the Hebrew Matthew, I think you don't want to miss it. If by chance you do not catch it live tonight, it will be on our Patreon channel right here, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. I'll remind you at the end of the broadcast here uh, so that you can be a part of that. Anyway, Kennedy, he is calling the shelling of the beach in Sevastopol a terrorist attack. That is pretty shocking for Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, to make such a bold statement there. Says here, uh, U.S. presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. called the shelling of the beach in Sevastopol by American ATACMS's missile terrorism and an act of war by the United States against Russian civilians. He wrote about this on the social network X, accompanying the post with a video recording of the tragedy. The word that describes this is terrorism. This is an act of war by the United States against Russian civilians, he said. Uh, well, that was pretty pretty bold there. And he goes, a U.S. missile launcher believed to be manufactured by Lockheed, guided by a sophisticated system that only American Americans in Ukraine can control, detonated about six miles over the Russian Crimea and scattered cluster sub uh, munitions across the area. Uh, covering a civilian beach and resulting in more than 100 cas casualties and killed and wounded, including children. Kennedy Jr. described what happened there. Uh, let me see, though, real quick. I thought, let me maybe they have it here. Let me just see real quick. Um, uh, I actually did have a photo earlier of this uh, attack there. Let me see if I can find out real quick there. Um Wanted you to be able to see uh, U.S. Uh, uh, well, it's not really a U.S. attack, but maybe that'll help me pull up the. Here we go, the beach footage right here. Uh, this is, and this is just, by the way, huge explosions. They have pictures, huge explosions that hit nearby. Uh, you can, you, well, this is only a picture. I was trying to find a video. I was actually looking at the video footage there. You just see a little like, almost like machine gun fire hitting the beach there, but it's not actually machine gun fire. Uh, it was actually uh, the shrapnel that was falling down. Uh, still not showing anything. Ugh. You got to you got to you got to go to Russian Yandex, I guess, to find anything if you really want to find something about that. Um, let me just see if I can go to videos. Maybe that'll maybe that'll help us there. Uh, U.S. Uh, missiles, Ukraine, and maybe that'll pull it up if that doesn't. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me! You get, you know what's terrible is that we can just never get uh, searches worth a flip unless you actually go uh, right to. Um, must be the way I'm looking it up, though, because earlier when I put this in over here, well, I put it in the Russian language, too. That's one reason why that that actually worked. Let me just see if I still have it in the Russian. Yeah, I still got it in the Russian language here. Let's pull that up like that. I want you guys to be able to see the actual footage here of what happened. There we go. Here we go. Right here. Камеры наблюдения зафиксировали мываются на песке и среди людей. Отдыхающие в панике бегут от моря. Все это происходило в воскресенье. Взрываются на песке и среди людей попадают элементы ракеты. Некоторые, похоже, взрываются на песке и среди людей. Отдыхающие в панике бегут от моря. From the exploded missile that Russia shot down over the Crimea Peninsula, there, 
there is another picture from a different angle of the view on the beach there where one of the missiles hit a uh, massive explosion there but uh, anyway a hundred I think it's 150 people were actually wounded from that attack there very 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 sad indeed anyway Erdogan accuses the West of supporting Israel's plan to spread the war um, that's pretty obvious, right? Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Wednesday accused the Western powers of backing what he said were Israeli plans to attack Lebanon and spread war throughout the region. Uh, and not only do you have that there, but then you have uh, right here, White House warns Lebanon, U.S. can't control or restrain Israel if offensive starts. Uh, <laughs> obvious, right? That's exactly right. If it starts, the U.S. is not going to be able to contain or do anything about it. Um, you know, I just want to remind you of a couple of things here before we get to the end of the broadcast here. This here, 16,550 children uh, so far have died in the war since October the 7th on uh, Gaza. Well, you can see why so many, but by the way, 16,550 have been reported dead. 23,000 children are missing. You know, listen, I do not support the attack that happened either on the Jewish people on October the 7th. Even though I do believe, as it's already been reported by the Times of Israel and the Jerusalem Post, Israel knew very well they were going to do it and that they were going to take up to 250 hostages. You know they're going to take a certain number of hostages and then you do nothing about it? You have the military stand down? Pretty strange, don't you think? Uh, one other bit I want to share with you here. I caught this this morning. Uh, the real Candace O is calling out Yagoda, the Bolshevik Jews, and what they did to Christians. Listen to this right here. It's a very interesting clip here. Tell me what, what is Yagoda and what happened with the Bolsheviks and the Christians? Oh, I just casually killed 10 million Christians. It's incredible. People think that the... the greatest mass murderer was Adolf Hitler. And it, no, actually, if you want to talk about <clears throat> genocide, the fact that people in America don't know about what the Bolsheviks did to Christians, where did the idea of a concentration camp come from? The Bolsheviks. The reason why we're not allowed to learn about these people, we don't talk about Henry Kagoda, is because he's a Jew, right? And so it conflicts with the narrative of Jewish people always being the victim in every single circumstance. So we're, going, we're willing to push away Christian history. We don't talk about Christian history whatsoever because they want, they have this bizarre focus, our classrooms, on training us to have this bizarre allegiance to Israel. And so to suit us, I feel that we are heavily propagandized in the classroom. And the reason why I feel that way is because we spend years talking about the Holocaust, only for me to learn when I'm out of school about a bigger Holocaust that took place at the exact same time we're locking arms with Stalin. I mean, you read Alexander Solzhenitsyn talking about the gulags and who built those gulag systems, who created those gulag systems. The majority of them, he eventually wrote a book, were Jewish men. And of course, this has not become collective guilt. Doesn't mean all Jews are Bolsheviks and think this way. But the fact that I'm denied the right to talk about my history while you demand I, I talk about yours and you demand that I worship Israel doesn't fly with me. I'm just sick and tired of the subjugated Christian. I'm sick and tired of the tail in between your leg Christian that is like Israel first very, and then I'll get to the New very, Testament. You very, know, very it, it, good. Uh, I'll include the link in the description for you guys. Again, don't forget uh, tonight www.stephenbenoon.com and that'll be in the link description below as well because people tend to type that in wrong. It's S-T-E-V-E-N-B-E-N-N-U-N.com at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's when we do our teachings on Thursday night. We'd love to have you come join us there. Uh, and But if you miss it, I always post the teachings there on Patreon as well. You're very welcome to go watch that on patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. Going into Daniel. This is going to tie into Daniel chapter 7. Remember the video I released here on Israeli News Live talking about that decree, the Antichrist that comes and he brings about or, or, you know, he's helping Israel to change the time and the season for the decree. 
Well, guess what? I found out that Daniel 12 ties in to that very issue there. Something Jesus spoke about that only the Hebrew Matthew will reveal. It only cost a dollar to go here to Patreon and, and join for one month, right? And not only that, you get to see everything that's ever been posted on here for that dollar as well. So why not? It's a great way to support the broadcast. And by the way, do support the broadcast as well. It's easy to do. Right above my head is RayleighNewsLive.org. I'll just take you right there. Easiest way to do it is by contributing online. Click right there, Denon Institute, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872. You can do it by mail. But if you click there online, you can donate, and we'd really greatly appreciate it. I've kept up here sacrificing USS Liberty on Israel's altar. Uh, an amazing message there that I did with a former survivor there, uh, Phil Turney. It was an amazing broadcast. I so much appreciate Phil sharing that information with me. And, uh, and we are planning on doing uh, even more of those messages in the future. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Vernon with Israeli News Live.